the topic? I can't call it what's the business. Shit. All right, first off, for those of you that don't know, uh, where T.I. represent for? Man, the west side of the A-Town, man, Bankhead, zone one through four. Okay, that's what, that you born and raised there? Born and raised, Bankhead, elementary school, high school, middle school. All right. <laughs> uh, you know, what does T.I. stand for? Some say it's your uh, initials, and you talk to her, you refer to yourself as uh, T.I.T., what to do? Nah, man, it's not an acronym at all, man, it's just a spelling of my name, man, uh, my name's Tilt. T.I.P. Okay. And so, you know, um, and so I, uh, I just used to, I just used to spell it out, man, to keep, to keep from having to keep repeating myself, you know, a lot of times due to my accent, people think I'm saying Chuck, Chuck. Yeah. You know, they don't really understand. So I just kind of, you know what I'm saying, spell it out for them to make it real simple. And, uh, but when I, I got signed to the face in 99, it's T.I.P. Right. But when L.A. sold this company, it put me on Arista. That's uh, the same label as Q-Tip. They just didn't want to work two two different artists with the same, with, with, right. well, with names so similar. Uh, a lot of people want to know the ladies and everything, if you're single right now, and what kind of, you know, broads are digging and everything. <laughs> what kind of broads I'm digging? <laughs> uh, single, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't married. No, I ain't married. Uh, let me see, as far as what kind of broads I'm digging, I like, I just like girls who, who, who real confident, you know what I'm saying, okay. who sure they self, and nine times out of ten, if you feel sexy, you are sexy, um, let me see here, I like girls who ain't, who ain't, who ain't afraid to say what they want, you know what I'm saying, right. ain't afraid to do what they want, and who don't really, uh, who don't really, um, worry about, it. like a lot of people, a lot of girls, man, you know, they, they may want to do this, that, and the other, but yeah, yeah. scared, to, scared of what people might say if they, you know what I'm saying? So, so you know. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just like people who are real confident, man. All right. Uh, your company, Grand Hustle, is actually joined with Atlantic, and uh, we wanted to know who, who you got coming next off of Grand Hustle. Um, uh, man, next artist off of Grand Hustle to be released is Big Country. Okay. He actually has a single that's uh. Actually have a, actually have a single that's popping, you know what I'm saying, right now in the south, in the streets. Um, and also, man, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be working on this PSC album. Okay. We're working on uh, this Ecstasy album, which is a female rap group, a duo, sort of like a southern song pebble. We're working on, um, we're working on uh, Matt Boney and AK, a, 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 a male duo rap group. Um... Let me see here. I guess you could compare them to like an MOP or okay, yeah. Capone or a Mob Deep, something like that, a southern version. When can we expect that? Which one? Mac Boney or AK? Uh, Big Country. Big Country? Yeah. Uh, Big Country it will be probably 2000, next year, 2004. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Also, uh, we're trying to, we're putting this uh, Leaders of the New South leaders of the New South Project together with uh, all of my counterparts, you know, yeah. just trying to, uh, you know, saying, show people who really run in the streets in the right, South. Right. You said uh, you're going to continue to be doing uh, PSC? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm talking about, the, the, uh, we're, we're going to release an official PSC, oh, an official yeah. Pimp Squad album, okay, yeah. You, you going to do any more uh, the mix CDs or whatever? Yeah, we're doing mix CDs right now. Right now we're doing a mix CD with, uh, with a, a, a DJ drama, right. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's called Gangster Grills Meets in the Streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know he, we got the, we had, uh, between the two of us, we had the hottest, the the hottest two uh, mixtapes on the market. Yeah, so, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? We decided to, to bring them together. You know? Yeah. Uh, your album just came out titled uh, Trap Music. Can you tell everybody why you titled it Trap Music? Well, because man, you know. Uh, for a long time, man, that was a big part of my life, you know. Right. I mean, as far as the the the, the underworld of the, the drug the drug industry, yeah. you know. So I mean, I know it's still people out there living like that. Still yeah, yeah. people out there who trying to get up out of that, and you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm just trying to get them a little inspiration. So, like, I'm, I'm making music. I'm making music. This, this this whole album is filled with music that's, that's dealing with all aspects of that lifestyle. You know, right. you know what I'm saying. Whether whether you in the trap, trying to get out the trap, or just living around the trap. You know, whether you want inspiration or information, either way it go, man. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. You 
you ha- you happy with the the album so so far? I'm happy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, it got to keep moving. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not just, uh, I'm not content enough right. to just sit back and cross my legs, man. You know, <laughs> I got a lot more work to do, man. Right. Um, on the album, you got a lot of bangers and everything. You got your singles, 24 can be easy. So what song are you feeling the most? Just that. I mean, man, they're like my children, man, you know. Right. I like different ones for different reasons, man. There's not one on there that I don't like, you know. Right. Um, and it's not even, I can't even say I like one more than the other, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, you know, they just, uh, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in, man. You know, it depends on what I feel like doing. Yeah. If I feel like riding, getting crunk, if I feel like reflecting, if I feel like kicking it with a lady, if I feel yeah. like... You know what I'm saying? If I yeah, feel you like you definitely got something on there for everybody. And yeah, man. I, I, and I, I try to, you know. Yeah. I definitely try to try to have something for everybody. Oh yeah. Uh, without saying any names, a lot uh, a lot of people feel a few commercial ATL rappers misrepresent. Uh, represent, misrepresent. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, town, do you feel this is true? And do you feel you correctly represent the ATL for yourself? Well, I definitely feel I'm correctly representing the ATL, man. Just being I was born and raised from the top, from beginning to right, from from from, from September twenty fifth, nineteen eighty, to right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, uh, as far as the other commercial rappers, who, I mean, I, yeah, I feel like that. You know what I'm saying? But I spoke on it in that, in, in the in the in the, uh, in the Killer Mike reaction. Right. You know, we had lots of misrepresentation, but hey, we're cool now. Okay. Can't keep playing both sides of the fence. You yeah. got to choose now. Now, it was said that you had some uh, beef with uh, some members of Ludacris, or uh, with Ludacris, or a member of DTP or JD. Now, what to do with that? Is that true? Is it been squashed or what? Well, I'm going to tell you what, man. The JD issue, man, it was never a beef, you know what I'm saying? Okay. JD, I've known JD for as long as I've been in the game. Right. And I don't really have, I don't have a personal beef with JD. It was just at the time, they talking about what I said on in the A. Yeah. It was like, uh, it's more to Atlanta than what you hear from JD and them. Yeah. I, so... At that time, pimp, I kind of felt like, like you say, we were being misrepresented. Right. Just being that they had a big song called Welcome to Atlanta, right? And for a remix, you get everybody else but somebody from Atlanta. Right. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that, that kind of was a slap in the face to me yeah. and a lot of other people in the streets of it, other eight. If not, I, I'm not saying you should have put me on it, but why right. not Pastor Troy? Why not Lil John? Why not, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Why not Young Bloods? Why not... You know, there's lots of other people who could have right. been. Yeah, right. I mean, although you know, what I'm saying not, nothing against nothing against uh, Murphy Lee, P Diddy, and, and, and Snoop, but I mean, you know, what I'm saying they're not yeah. from Atlanta. Right. If they do a California love song, <laughs> they're not gonna come and put no Atlanta people on yeah. there. If they do a Welcome to New York, they're not gonna come put no Atlanta people on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, they, if, if Nelly and Nelly and uh, Murphy Lee do a, a St. Louis song, they're not gonna come put no Atlanta people on there. Right. So I mean. Why do we? Why would we bring them in the hour in the hour situation? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, ain't nothing wrong with doing records with people, but if you're trying to represent your city and you're trying to make a song for your city, then I think you should keep it within your city. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I definitely say on that. But that's all, man. Me and him spoke. Me and him spoke about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, it's definitely no beef. You know, I, re- I respect him for as being a man for getting. You know what I'm saying? Getting money. You know. Yeah, yeah. And he definitely. You can't. You definitely can't take away what he's done. You know what I'm saying? As far as his accomplishments, but right. So it's no beef. Though. It was just a, it was just a, a, a disagreement. I kind of okay. I kind of felt like he made the wrong move that time. Right. But, and I spoke on it. I'm not gonna sit and say it behind his back and smile in his face when I see him. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna say it on the record when I see him yeah. in the club. I'm gonna say it. And I'm gonna say it to him in the club. And next time I see him, if I have to, we speak on it again to this day. If we speak on it, I'm gonna say, you know, you fucked up when you made that record. Man. You know, you should have yada yada yada. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it ain't no beef. That's just you know what I'm saying. People right. just tell him. I'm just telling. I'm just telling them how I feel, you know? Yeah. No, but as far as the other situation, man, I mean, man, like, tell me again what you, tell me what you heard. Tell me, like, what you, what I just you, what you know so far. DPP, uh, I think it was I-20 was saying something on the radio or something, and then you, you came back or whatever, and then it, you know, just continued from there. That's what I was ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, all, man, you know what I'm saying? I guess you know what I'm saying. All that, all that began from a, from a, from a, uh, 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 my freestyle in the booth, man, on Rap City. You know what I'm saying. But the thing is, man, if I got a problem with one person, and and this one person has a family, yeah. then I, I mean, like, then I got to go at everybody. Then yeah, you know definitely. what I'm saying. Like, I'm not just gonna single you out, and I know yeah. you with them. 
You know what I'm saying? But like to be perfectly honest with you, pimp, the head to that body, like the the the, you know what I'm saying? The captain of that team. He ain't never done nothing to hurt nobody that I right. know of, you know what I'm saying? He ain't never done nothing to me, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? He just guilty by association, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He just, you know what I'm saying? He got people around him who like to run their mouth about a lot of nonsense and, and, and put him in the middle of it, put him and his colleagues in the middle of it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, leave them to clean up their mess, you know? Yeah. And so, you know what I'm saying? If that's the position that they want to be in, then, hey, they got to play their position. Yeah. Now they got to clean up this mess because it's damn sure going to be a mess. You can, this, this is a wrong cat. This, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got cats around you, man, who loose lipping and and, 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 and talking out the side of their mouth, man, and, you know, making songs on the low about people yeah. who, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, I mean, honestly, pimp, if, 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 if we say, regardless of what kind of issues we've had in the past, if we say, okay, look, it's all good, it ain't no trouble, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From here on out, we scrape. And I tell my people, all right, man, they scrape. It ain't no problem. It's cool. And then I get, you know what I'm saying, then I catch wind. Hey, man, I catch wind from people, from engineers and studios saying, yeah, man, such and such was in here, man. They recorded a song about you, man. They were doing songs about I'm like, what? Are you serious? After I just, after we just said that it was all good, you telling me you going to go and make a, okay, cool. So me, I ain't making no songs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I ain't even tripping. I ain't, right, if right. I got a problem, if it, if I feel that strongly about what I got to say and what I need to do, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about what I done did. I'm not gonna talk about what I'm gonna do. You know what right. I'm saying? So anytime anybody want to see me in the streets, it's all good. But just to clear it up, you know what I'm saying? Is like directly. Uh, 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 Chris ain't never done nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't, it ain't no. It ain't no direct beef with him, but he got people around him that 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 don't know how to that don't know how to watch their mouth. You right. know what I'm saying? And 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 it, and, it, and it puts everybody in it puts everybody in the family yeah. at, at in danger, right? And at risk. So basically, it ain't no no serious beef. It's just nah, it ain't no it ain't no serious beef, man. Because like me knowing the kind of person I am, me knowing my background, and me right. knowing they background. It don't even make no sense for me to be right, with them yeah, because definitely. I'm wasting my time. They're not even the kind of cast that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. if I felt if I felt threatened, then it'd be a beef. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like, oh, well, I got to get rid of these guys yeah, before they get rid of me. But they can't stop me, man. They right. can't they can't budge <laughs> me, man. Ain't nothing they can do with it. They take it to the raps, take yeah. it to the streets. If you pull over on any street corner, man, and, and or go to any project in the South, and you look in their car and see what they playing, you is not gonna find one of their CDs. Right. Yeah. You, gonna, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. already know what they gonna be playing. <laughs> yeah. So I ain't tripping on that. You know they yeah. can't. I, I mean I, I'm I'm real comfortable. I'm secure about that. So it ain't really no beef, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially since it ain't it ain't the head to the body. I'm the head to my body. Yeah, yeah. I'm the leader of my team. So I'm not finna go beef with a fucking water boy. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm a coach, I ain't got no business arguing with no motherfucking water. Boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I'm not, if I'm not into it with another coach, yeah. then it's just fuck it, let it go. Yeah. I'ma send my, I'ma, I'm 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 send me a water boy. After, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know that's how that's how I feel about that. It ain't no uh, beef, man. Uh, you know what's next for Ti? What you, what you got coming up? I know you got your uh, construction company. Yeah. Uh, there's been some rumors that you open uh, my brother's keeper back up and everything. What's the deal? Yeah. Day? Yeah, man. Um, actually, man, you know what I'm saying a, a partner of mine. You know, he, I'm actually like a silent partner investor in my brother's yeah. keeper. Yeah. You know, um, uh, it's, it was a, it was a club that that that. that me and my partners used to kick it at, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really kick it that at much. Right. Just because it was a kid club. I was trying to get yeah, the yeah. grown folk club. <laughs> you know, I mean, we used to, used to kick it every now and then. I did a couple shows there. So, you know, when I, when I heard they were trying to open it back up and my partner was involved, you know what I'm saying? And then he knew how strong my name was in the, in the city. So he figured right. that it would be beneficial to the boat, for the both of us, you know what I'm saying? To work, to work out a situation. So that's what we did. Right. Yeah. Uh, you got any, that's all I got for my questions. You got any other last things you want to add or anything? Uh, man, you know, trap music and stole right now, man. Grand Hustle. Okay. I appreciate all the love, man, all around the, all around the, uh, all around. I ask you. 
Thank you, man. He good. I appreciate, I appreciate all the love, man, all around the nation, man, especially in the southeast and the midwest, right. man. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you, if you love me, Pimp, and you support me, I appreciate you. I love you back. And if you hate, man, you better hide it real well, cause it's gonna be trouble. Oh, boy. If you hate, I'm gonna give you something to do. Keep watching. You have a lot of, you gonna have a lot of work. A lot of work ahead of you, nigga, cause I'm a, you don't like it, kill yourself, nigga. <laughs> cause I'm a 